Hey guys, welcome back. Today is all about abs. So we got a serious ab slash core workout that will really challenge you. And as you see on the screen right there, there's two circuits, eight exercises total, three to four rounds of each. You could either just do one one day and one another day, or if you're just really on a mission to demolish your abs one day, you could do both, but even just one circuit on its own is enough. Trust me when I say that. So first up, we have what I'm calling seesaw crunches. So you will We'll first do a reverse crunch with a hip up and then come back down to starting position and then crunch up while holding that dumbbell in the air. So you want to keep your legs and shoulder blades off the floor the entire time. And so your core needs to stay fully engaged or else you will lose contact with the floor and control over the movement. If this variation is too difficult, you can get rid of the dumbbell and just use your body weight. You can also drop your feet to the ground instead of holding them up the entire time. Whatever works for your fitness level is fine and you're doing eight reps of these per round and next up is side plank dips so these are pretty self-explanatory as you can see I'm sure you've probably seen these before so you want to maintain a tight position on your side using your elbow and your foot to support yourself and then you're just going to be dipping your hip down and then when you come back up bring it up a bit higher than in line with your body just to get that full squeeze in your side and you are doing 10 dips on each side before moving on to the next exercise Once you finish those side plank dips on both sides, you will then pick that dumbbell back up and do these passing grabs, which is kind of like a mix between a crunch and a hollow body hold. So you want to start in a crunch position, place that dumbbell over the end of your leg so that dumbbell stays locked in place by your feet, and then bring your body straight out as you see me doing, again, not letting your feet touch the ground. And then when you come back in, you will grab the dumbbell and do the same exact thing, but with the dumbbell going in the opposite direction. So make sure to keep that back again the floor the entire time by keeping your core fully engaged and once you pass that dumbbell both ways that is one complete rep so if this is too difficult you can either switch out for a lighter dumbbell or you can just get rid of the dumbbell altogether and you are doing eight reps of these per round And the last exercise of the first circuit is over and out. I love this exercise. I believe I've shown this to you all on my channel before, but as you see, you want to take a dumbbell and place it in front of you. So you have something to go over and around for each rep. And it's just easiest to use a dumbbell since you're using it for the other exercises. And so you have to mess around with your hand placement to get the right leverage for your upper body. I personally find a bit wide out from the body to give you the best leverage, but I also have really long arms. So so it may be different for you. So just kind of mess around with it and see what, you know, gives you the best support. Moving right into circuit number two, we're starting off with a modified V-up variation of single, single doubles, or that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> so you're using your hands to support yourself just like you did with the last exercise from the previous circuit. You're going to hold a low V-up position while lifting one leg at a time and then both together so that each time you are in a high V-up position at the top. So make sure to do both singles and doubles for it to count as one full rep. So it's really like three semi reps in one and you're doing 10 of these total. Now, if this is a bit too challenging, the first thing I would suggest is to just cut down the amount of reps you're doing. You don't have to do 10 reps. You can just aim for as many as you can. But if you do need an easier method to this exercise, you can go ahead and leave your feet on the ground instead and just lift from there and then just hold your upper body up the entire time. Next up is crossbody mountain climbers. I definitely prefer these over standard mountain climbers when it comes to ab work because you can actually really feel them working. And I also just think they're way more fun to do. So what you're doing is instead of a traditional mountain climber where you bring your knee up straight towards your chest, you will take your knee to the opposite elbow instead. So try to keep your body in line as much as possible and keep your hips from lifting too high. You basically want your body to stay in that straight arm plank hold position with your core really tight 
as you move throughout the exercise. I love to go through these quick and do high reps. So I have 20 reps here. Sometimes I'll even take it up to like 25, 30, depending how I feel. But for now it's 20 reps here. You gotta do both sides to count as one full rep. Moving right along into the cross body crunches, which is basically a single sided bicycle ab exercise. Now I like to have one arm out and the other behind my head. And I bring that elbow to the opposite knee while I bring that leg in again with keeping that leg lifted the entire time. And you are doing one side at a time. Keep that other leg bent up. That's really going to help with better core engagement throughout the movement. And you are doing 10 reps on each side per round. Last up for the second circuit is another one of my favorites, and this is a single, single, double toe tap, toe reach, whatever you want to call it. I incorporate a dumbbell with mine, but again, you could ditch the dumbbell for an easier variation. And as you see here, just like with that last exercise, you do want to keep that leg bent while the other is straight up. You will do 10 reps on one side, then you'll do 10 reps on the other side, and then you'll bring both legs up and you will do 10 reps together. Do this circuit for three to four rounds, just like you would with the first circuit, and your abs will officially be dead. <laughs> so that was the entire workout. If you try either of those circuits, please let me know in the comments below or on Instagram. Also make sure you are subscribed and following me as we are getting extremely close to the launch of my new workout plan. So you don't want to miss that. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.